1500, turn gravity off, got this. Okay, now I need something for them to hit so that we can test uh, that this is actually working. Sure, can't miss that. Generate, generate, okay. Ah! Here, let me extend this window a little bit so we can actually see what's going on. Kind of helps if I do a print string to see if it's actually hitting, because I put it up too high, so I can't actually see. God, I am just having genius moments today. Boom, okay. Need to simulate generates hit events. Why are you not working? You are just ch like it's it's choosing to be stubborn at this point. Oh, look at that! I can I can walk up the wall. <laughs> That's awesome. Intended functionality. <laughs> Ship it. See if this works. Okay. Going to start with Try this. Let's, so, do that, and then we're going to actually have this start with simulate generate overlap events off. Point four five, and have this Oops. <sighs> everything's a feature so we're going to check to make sure the other actor does not equal self and we don't want it to equal we don't want it to equal the same projectile As soon as I do that, it no longer works again. Okay. We need, 
I need something that I know will definitely work. Let's lay down a few basic cubes. And I need to constrain movement to, to a plane. Because it should not be rising up like that. need to go ahead and pull my camera back a little bit because it's still way too close. There we go, that feels a bit better. Taking a bit too long. Making sure it's not hitting self seems to be adding a weird layer. Why is it doing this? This is weird. just skip this, get rid of this, get this. Boom. Hit this, save. Now where's my... I need my... Static mesh, tank, body, tank, turret. Grab this, shoot it out a little bit. I mean, just a, just a tad. Boom. Problem solved. It was just too close. Gotta love it. And as stated previously, this fully functioning tank now has a projectile that actually hits things and destroys things. Check to see if this is equal to Let's see, where is is it equal to object. We're going to check and see if it is equal to tank pawn. This is where we're going to start messing around with it a little bit. Let's 
So now, as we're as we're going. Things hard to miss. <sighs> Very odd. I don't know why it's doing that, so... Let's see, and then we're going to go into the tank pond. See if hit... no. Let's do a spawn emitter at location. <clears throat> Just play around with it. Oh. So it's definitely registering that the hits are occurring, it's just not registering that this is a tank pawn. Very weird. I wonder why it's doing that. I'm going to have to play with it more, but I think we got quite a decent bit done with this, and it is roughly what was requested. There's, there's going to be some more work that needs to be done before it can be very high-level, good kind of stuff, but I think it's definitely something that we can play with a little bit make some pretty cool stuff. Um, what I was thinking was eventually turn this into a game um, kind of like where you have multiple players and you can kind of go around and get points for this or, or do kind of a Mario Kart thing where it's like both players have three hits and um, like we can set the, uh, the bullets onto a timer, you know, how often they can be fired and stuff like that. Um, that way someone's not getting screwed but you have to go through and hit them while avoiding traps on the floor or something something like that, which shouldn't be that difficult to do once I figure out why it's being such a jerk right now. Um, I want to go ahead and check, see if anyone has any questions or anything. If not, we're probably going to go ahead and call it for the evening so I can play around with my internet and see what might have been going on earlier. Uh, Plus, I'm just incredibly tired. It's been a very long two weeks. <laughs> oh, there goes my autosave. Hey, look at that. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and see if there was any...